The orbital eccentricity of an astronomical object is a parameter that determines the amount by which its orbit around another body deviates from a perfect circle. A value of zero is a circular orbit, values between zero and one form an elliptic orbit, one is a parabolic escape orbit, and greater than one is a hyperbola. The term derives its name from the parameters of conic sections, as every Kepler orbit is a conic section. It is normally used for the isolated two-body problem, but extensions exist for objects following a klemperer rosette orbit through the galaxy. Definition In a two-body problem with inverse square law force, every orbit is a Kepler orbit. The eccentricity of this Kepler orbit is a non-negative number that defines its shape. The eccentricity may take the following values, circular orbit, E equals zero elliptic orbit, zero parabolic trajectory, E equals one C parabola hyperbolic trajectory, E greater than one C hyperbola The eccentricity E is given by E equals one plus two E L two meters red alpha two display style E equals SQRT one plus FRAC two E L carrot two M underscore text red alpha carrot two where E is the total orbital energy, L is the angle angular momentum, MRED is the reduced mass, and α the coefficient of the inverse square law central force such as gravity or electrostatics in classical physics, F equals α R2 F equals frac alpha R2 alpha is negative for an attractive force, positive for a repulsive one, see also Kepler problem or in the case of a gravitational force, E equals 1 plus 2 epsilon H2 mu 2 displaystyle E equals SQRT 1 plus frac 2 var epsilon h caret 2 mu caret 2 where epsilon is the specific orbital energy total energy divided by the reduced mass mu the standard gravitational parameter based on the total mass and h the specific relative angular momentum angular momentum divided by the reduced mass for values of e from 0 to 1 the orbit's shape is an increasingly elongated or flatter ellipse, for values of e from 1 to infinity the orbit is a hyperbola branch making a total turn of 2 arc CSCE, decreasing from 180 to 0 degrees. The limit case between an ellipse and a hyperbola, when e equals 1, is parabola. Radial trajectories are classified as elliptic, parabolic, or hyperbolic based on the energy of the orbit, not the eccentricity. Radial orbits have zero angular momentum and hence eccentricity equal to 1. Keeping the energy constant and reducing the angular momentum, elliptic, parabolic, and hyperbolic orbits each tend to the corresponding type of radial trajectory while E tends to 1 or in the parabolic case, remains 1. For a repulsive force only the hyperbolic trajectory, including the radial version, is applicable. For elliptical orbits, a simple proof shows that arcsine E Display style e yields the projection angle of a perfect circle to an ellipse of eccentricity e. For example, to view the eccentricity of the planet Mercury e equals 0.2056, one must simply calculate the inverse sine to find the projection angle of 11.86 degrees. Next, tilt any circular object, such as a coffee mug viewed from the top, by that angle, and the apparent ellipse projected to your eye will be of that same eccentricity. Topic Etymology. The word eccentricity comes from medieval Latin eccentricus, derived from Greek ekontros ekontros, out of the center, from ek ek, out of, plus kentron kentron, center. Eccentric first appeared in English in 1551 with the definition a circle in which the Earth, Sun, etc. deviates from its center. By five years later, in 1556, an adjectival form of the word had developed. Calculation The eccentricity of an orbit can be calculated from the orbital state vectors as the magnitude of the eccentricity vector E equals E display style E equals left math BF E right where E is the eccentricity vector. For elliptical orbits, it can also be calculated from the periapsis and apoapsis since Rp. Topic a one minus e and Ra. 
a 1 plus e, where a is the semi-major axis. E equals R A minus R P R A plus R P equals one minus two R A R P plus one. Display style begin aligned E and equals R underscore text a R underscore text P over R underscore text a plus R underscore text P and equals one F R A C two F R A C R underscore text A R underscore text P plus one end aligned where Ra is the radius at apoapsis, i.e., the farthest distance of the orbit to the center of mass of the system, which is a focus focus of the ellipse rp is the radius at periapsis the closest distance the eccentricity of an elliptical orbit can also be used to obtain the ratio of the periapsis to the apoapsis rpra equals 1 minus e1 plus e display style r underscore text p over r underscore text a equals 1 e over 1 plus e for earth orbital eccentricity approximately equals 0.0167 apoapsis equals aphelion and periapsis equals perihelion relative to sun for Earth's annual orbit path, Ra RP ratio equals longest underscore radius, shortest underscore radius approximately equals 1.034 relative to center point of path. Topic examples The eccentricity of the Earth's orbit is currently about 0.0167, the Earth's orbit is nearly circular. Venus and Neptune have even lower eccentricities. Over hundreds of thousands of years, the eccentricity of the Earth's orbit varies from nearly 0.0034 to almost 0.058 as a result of gravitational attractions among the planets see graph. .The table lists the values for all planets and dwarf planets, and selected asteroid, comets and moons. Mercury has the greatest orbital eccentricity of any planet in the Solar System e 0.2056. .Such eccentricity is sufficient for Mercury to receive twice as much solar irradiation at perihelion compared to aphelion. Before its demotion from planet status in 2006, Pluto was considered to be the planet with the most eccentric orbit e other trans-Neptunian objects have significant eccentricity, notably the dwarf planet Eris .44. Even further out, Sedna, has an extremely high eccentricity of 0.855 due to its estimated aphelion of 937 AU and perihelion of about 76 AU. Most of the Solar System's asteroids have orbital eccentricities between 0 and 0.35 with an average value of 0.17. Their comparatively high eccentricities are probably due to the influence of Jupiter and to past collisions. The Moon's value is 0.0549, the most eccentric of the large moons of the Solar System. The four Galilean moons have eccentricity comets have very different values of eccentricity. Periodic comets have eccentricities mostly between 0.2 and 0.7, but some of them have highly eccentric elliptical orbits with eccentricities just below 1, for example, Halley's Comet has a value of 0.967. Non-periodic comets follow near parabolic orbits and thus have eccentricities even closer to 1. Examples include comet Hale-Bopp with a value of 0.995 and comet C 2006P1 McNaught with a value of 1.000019. As Hale-Bopp's value is less than 1, its orbit is elliptical and it will in fact return. Comet McNaught has a hyperbolic orbit while within the influence of the planets but is still bound to the sun with an orbital period of about 105 years. As of a 2010 epoch, Comet C, 1980E1 has the largest eccentricity of any known hyperbolic comet with an eccentricity of 1.057, and will leave the Solar System indefinitely. Aumuamua is the first interstellar object found passing through the Solar System. Its orbital eccentricity of 1.20 indicates that Aumuamua has never been gravitationally bound to our Sun. It was discovered 0.2 astronomical units, 30 million kilometers, 19 million miles from Earth and is roughly 200 meters in diameter. It has an interstellar speed, velocity at infinity of 26.33 kilometers per second, 58,900 miles per hour. Topic: <laughs> Mean eccentricity. The mean eccentricity of an object is the average eccentricity as a result of perturbations over a given time period. Neptune currently has an instant current epoch eccentricity of 0.0113, but from 1800 to 2050 has a mean eccentricity of 0.00859. 
Topic: <laughs> Climatic effect. Orbital mechanics require that the duration of the seasons be proportional to the area of the Earth's orbit swept between the solstices and equinoxes, so when the orbital eccentricity is extreme, the seasons that occur on the far side of the orbit can be substantially longer in duration. Today, northern hemisphere fall and winter occur at closest approach when the Earth is moving at its maximum velocity—while the opposite occurs in the southern hemisphere. As a result, in the northern hemisphere, fall and winter are slightly shorter than spring and summer, but in global terms this is balanced with them being longer below the equator. In 2006, the northern hemisphere summer was 4.66 days longer than winter, and spring was 2.9 days longer than fall due to the Milankovitch cycles. Apsidal precession also slowly changes the place in the Earth's orbit where the solstices and equinoxes occur. Note that this is a slow change in the orbit of the Earth, not the axis of rotation, which is referred to as axial precession see precession section astronomy. Over the next 10,000 years, the northern hemisphere winters will become gradually longer and summers will become shorter. However, any cooling effect in one hemisphere is balanced by warming in the other, and any overall change will be counteracted by the fact that the eccentricity of Earth's orbit will be almost halved. This will reduce the mean orbital radius and raise temperatures in both hemispheres closer to the mid-interglacial peak. Exoplanets Of the many exoplanets discovered, most have a higher orbital eccentricity than planets in our solar system. Exoplanets found with low orbital eccentricity, near circular orbits, are very close to their star and are tidally locked to the star. All eight planets in the Solar System have near circular orbits. The exoplanets discovered show that the Solar System, with its unusually low eccentricity, is rare and unique. One theory attributes this low eccentricity to the high number of planets in the Solar System, another suggests it arose because of its unique asteroid belts. A few other multiplanetary systems have been found, but none resemble the Solar System. The Solar System has unique planetesimal systems, which led the planets to have near-circular orbits. Solar planetesimal systems include the Asteroid Belt, Hilda Family, Kuiper Belt, Hills Cloud, and the Oort Cloud. The exoplanet systems discovered have either no planetesimal systems or one very large one. Low eccentricity is needed for habitability, especially advanced life. High multiplicity planet systems are much more likely to have habitable exoplanets. The Grand Tack hypothesis of the Solar System also helps understand its near-circular orbits and other unique features. See also Eccentricity mathematics, Eccentricity vector Equation of time Milankovitch cycles Orbits Footnotes References Further reading Prussing, John E., Conway, Bruce A. Orbital Mechanics. New York, Oxford University Press. ISBN 0-19-507834-9. Topic. External links World of Physics, Eccentricity The NOAA page on climate forcing data includes calculated data from Berger 1978, Berger and Lutre 1991. Laskar et al. 2004 on Earth orbital variations, includes eccentricity over the last 50 million years and for the coming 20 million years. The Orbital Simulations by Varady, Gill and Runniger provides series for Earth orbital eccentricity and orbital inclination. Kepler's Second Laws Simulation